In this video I'm going to talk about some advanced concepts for XY graphs. So in the basic XY graphs videos we, we looked at the idea of having a Y axis, an X axis, an origin and that if we have a straight line, um, a line of best fit, then we can work out a gradient and an intercept for this. And we talked about gradients, that if we've got a positive gradient then the line is sloping upwards negative gradient, the line is sloping downwards as we go from left to right and for zero gradient that's when we just have a flat straight line so this is just horizontal. So what happens though if we've got um, a more complicated graph where we've got a curve things are changing versus x, it's not just a straight line anymore what's the gradient? So what we have to do first of all is identify a point of interest on the graph we then need to draw a tangent to the curve. So this is a line that we draw in and this line must follow the slope of the curve as closely as possible at the point that we're interested in. Okay, thirdly we draw a triangle and that then allows us to work out the gradient because then we can work out dy by dx. So we can see the change in y, the change in x and then dy divided by dx gives us the gradient at that point. We can then identify other points, so here are two points where the gradient is zero, also referred to as stationary points. Here's a point at which the gradient is negative, and another one where the gradient is positive. Okay, so let's take the example of y equals x squared, and if we work out the value of y for various values of x, we can plot a graph. We can then start to draw tangents to these points, and we can work out gradients. So the change in y here is minus 8, the change in x is 2, and so we can work out the gradient because we do dy divided by dx. And so when x equals minus 2, so for this point here, x equals minus 2, the gradient at this point is minus 4. We can move on to the next point, we can work out the dy, the dx, and then we can work out the gradient again, which in this case is minus 2. Once we get to x equals 0, we're at a stationary point and the gradient is 0. Moving on to x equals 1, if we draw the tangent through that point, we get a dy of 4, a dx of 2, giving us a gradient of 2. And finally, when x equals 2, we get a gradient of 4. OK, so now we can actually look at these and, and plot them, these gradients versus x. So if we plot the points onto a graph, where we're looking at dy by dx versus x, we get a straight line graph. And the equation for that is dy by dx equals 2x. So hopefully you can see that from the graph. It goes through the origin and we get a rise of 2 in y for every increase in x of 1. So uh, we've got a gradient there of 2, so dy by dx equals 2x. If we do this for x cubed, we can get some values, we can plot the, the graph, we can get tangents, and then we can, again, we can plot those out. So this time we get a slightly different shape. In fact, we get a quadratic, so it's a, a, an, x cube, an x squared function. Uh, and in this case dy by dx equals 3x squared. So you'll notice that this is at 0 and then the first values are at 3 and then 12 and so this is the function, this is the equation that of, of this line here. Okay, so we've seen that for y equals x squared when we want to get the gradient it's dy by dx equals 2x. When we looked at y equals x cubed dy by dx equals 3 to the x squared if we'd done x to the 4, we'd see that dy by dx was 4x cubed. x to the 5, we've got 5x to the 4. x to the 6, we've got 6x to the 5 for the gradient. So I hope you can see a pattern emerging here. And what we like to do in science and maths and engineering is to make generalizations. So if we have y equals x to the n, so just a number, then this rule, what we see from this pattern is that dy by dx equals n times x to the power of n minus 1. Okay, and so what we've been looking at here and thinking about here is 
is something called calculus, which is the study of continuous change. And more specifically, we've been looking at differential calculus, or which gets abbreviated or, or summarized as differentiation. And this focuses on instantaneous rates of change and the slopes of curves. So that's been a, a video looking at some more advanced concepts for XY graphs.